guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. I'm super excited you're here, and I'm super excited that I, that I own this car. It's kind of wild. I'm so, so thrilled. This car is so much fun, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a full kind of tour of my new car so you guys can see what it's like and for those of you that are in the brz86 frs crew and are looking to get your own hopefully this will give you a bit of insight as to what you can look forward to or, or what you might want to purchase if you haven't already got your order in so if you're new here i'm an automotive photographer and videographer and i bought this car so that i can teach you guys how to do what i do so if you're into that kind of thing feel free to subscribe down below but otherwise, let's get into this review. So the first thing we want to look at is the exterior styling of the car. I've got mine in the World Rally Blue. We've got the Sport Tech Edition, which comes with the 18-inch Michelin Pilot Sport uh, four tires, which is super nice. They're pretty sticky. The front bumper, obviously, if you're looking between the 8.6 and the BRZ, this is just a point of preference. For me, as I said kind of in my last video, something that I really like is the front headlight design. I like that it kind of swoops up there instead of just kind of not having that. I'm a big fan of that. And in the Sport Tech Edition, you have actually a front adaptive headlight. So those things do actually turn with you as you're turning in the car, which is really kind of cool. Kind of took me by surprise actually when I was driving at night. Um, a really nice kind of premium feature. As most of you guys know, these grills are all active. The air is fed through here, all the way through the tire, probably to cool the brakes. And then we've got holes here as well that feed through all this arrow on the body. Now, one of my favorite kind of design elements is on the front hood here, how these lines kind of drag over the car. That to me is so slick. And when you're photographing it at night or whatever, they just show up so, so good. Now you can see kind of the lines of the car here, how it drags down and swipes up there. I think that's so, so cool. I'm really excited to see what designers of like the body kits and stuff, how they utilize those lines to make us cool body kits and stuff. So as we come to the rear of the vehicle, obviously we've got the rear wheel drive. The brakes on the car are pretty good for daily driving. I have seen a YouTube video of this on the track already and it looked like the brakes weren't all that great for track use. Maybe they got too hot too quick and got a bit mushy. The gas cap here, you just have to make sure your car's unlocked. You push that, it opens up and then you can unscrew this and you can put your gas cap up on here so it's not kind of dangling on your car. And here's some of the rear exterior design elements. This for me is one of my favorite parts about the car. And honestly, it's also kind of one of my bigger regrets about the car between going with the 86 and the BRZ. The 86 has a much more aggressive rear like duck bill spoiler, which I think looks super cool. And of course, they're gonna give us the opportunity to make that on the BRZ. So that's why I figured it's not that big of a deal because that was kind of the only reason I was gonna go for the 8.6 was that duckbill spoiler. I like the front end better on this one, personally. But with the rear taillights, you do get the NSX vibes or the Buick Regal, depending on how you look at it. But I'm just gonna go with the NSX because I think it's a slick looking car. And this to me is a slick looking car. Going into the boot, there's a sweet button here. Just push that, it pops. And there's quite a bit of space, so. But it is really shallow, like, really shallow, but seemingly that'll be okay. So I'll be curious to see what I can store back there. Okay, so let's talk about the exhaust a little bit because maybe one of the downfalls of the car, it sounds fine, but it's actually really, really quiet. So this will be hopefully one of the first modifications I can get to because I wanna just hear the car more and you can't really hear the car that well with this exhaust aside from the piped in coming in from the inside. the sport tech edition we do have some pretty nice seats here we've got the leather here with the red stitching and then inside we've got the alcantara inserts which are really nice one thing i love about them they're so 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 comfortable um, the bolstering in my opinion is like perfect on the door panels you've got alcantara here and you've got more leather here and then you've got cup holders here as well but nice handle so you can like throw your phone in there throw some coffee or a drink or whatever and the door handle both sides have automatic up and down windows one little touch that you do get is when you close and open the doors the windows drop down for you so that's really really sweet kind of like a just makes it feel really premium so inside the vehicle we've got this little glove compartment now one little hidden feature in this car is actually in the glove compartment there's a cigarette 
lighter back there. Which you're not going to light your cigarettes with it, I bet you. But you could put some power in there, like a USB for whoever's sitting in the passenger seat. Or power some other devices from in there. Inside here, you've got your Apple CarPlay, you've got USB, you've got your auxiliary ports in here. One of the really cool things about this car is the startup feature. Gives you the boxer feel, the BRZ vibes, super cool. And then from here, you can kind of scroll through all your features there on the digital dash. There's some of your safety features. Even on the manual, you do get some rear traffic kind of control and the blind spot monitoring, but you need to use the automatic if you're gonna get most of the safety features. The steering wheel is super nice. Feels really, really great in the hands. It's like pretty thin, so it feels like you got a lot of control over it. Um, the controls for the volume and stuff is over here. I was watching another YouTuber's video and he expressed that the volume controls are over here, but it feels like they should naturally be over here because your audio system's here. So I actually kind of agree with that because your these controls control the information that's over there and these controls over here. So just a little bit of a quirk, but I mean, that's, that's all right. I can get over that and I'll get used to it eventually. Um, we've got the manual stick shift here, which feels so, so good. It's uh, quite a short shift. It's not like short shift if you've ever modified your short shift, but it's quite nice and it feels super affirmative as I was saying in my last videos. You've got heated seats here. You've got track mode, which if you hold this down, it will change your screen there to be much more sporty. And then from there you can see how it reacts there, which is pretty sweet. You get Apple CarPlay, which is nice. You just kind of plug it in and it comes on for you. The infotainment system for the Subaru itself is actually pretty nice as well. The Bluetooth and all that stuff works pretty well. Um, one thing I did find going into the settings, like there's Wi-Fi in here so you can actually get updates of your car when you're parked in your garage or something. Um, lots of cool stuff you can do on here. Reminder screens, so you can get reminded about anniversaries, birthdays. If you want to adjust your audio, you can either do it, kind of personalize it with adding more bass or whatever, but if you go down to voice image control, it actually gives you this option here for virtual stage enhancer. And I have it turned on and essentially, I guess what it says here is it makes it sound more realistic, brings up the mids, adds a bit of bass. It sounds pretty good. Like I, I agree with a lot of people that the sound system in here isn't fantastic, but that kind of helps with it a little bit. Ultimately, I'm actually really stoked with this system. It's pretty responsive, feels really good to the touch. You've got your push, start, stop buttons there. Your dual temp controls, which is cool. One thing I actually found out when you cycle through, it gives you like the face and then a little bit of feet and then face and a lot of feet, which I don't know if all cars have that, but I just thought that was kind of a nice touch. And then of course, these are really cool. They feel really nice and notchy. And this isn't like a hard plastic. It's kind of like a nice to the touch plastic. We've got the Alcantara featured up here over top of the steering wheel and then nice kind of soft touch feels here, um, plastic there. And of course, one of the best things about this car is the three pedals and they're in an incredible place. So if you're looking to do any heel toe, it's in a great spot. So, and as you can see, I don't know if you can see very well, but I'm repping some Pelote shoes. And if you guys are drivers and you like to drive, I highly recommend picking up a pair of these shoes because they make the driving experience a lot better. Essentially all they do is like the bottom of the shoe is a little bit thinner so you get better pedal feel. So they've got heaps of styles, super cool. Not sponsored, I just, I just really like the company. I did have someone ask on Instagram if these seats would work for like putting your kids in it. I don't know. It's super tight. If you move the passenger seat forward quite a bit, I mean, there's like a little bit of room. So there you go, guys. There's a really quick overview of my brand new 2022 BRZ. I'm really, really happy with this car. The driving experience is fantastic. And if you guys want a different video of the driving experience before we do any mods, I'm still working on breaking this thing in fully properly. They do say it comes broken in from factory, but I'm hearing everything from here, there, and everywhere. The thing that's good is you don't need to get the kilometers up to be able to take corners quickly. You just can't rev the engine too quick, and this thing sticks to the road like crazy, and you can get a little loose too, so uh, really, really fun as a daily driver. If you want to see more content on this car, I love doing automotive content for you guys to help you guys get better at shooting your photos and videos, and if you're into those kind of things, check out my channel. I have car photography, editing things, and. I don't know a guy who owns a cool car that doesn't like taking photos of it, so you might want to stick around. This is going to be fun.
Make sure to like this video for me guys and comment down below if you want to see some driving content with this car. And otherwise, I do hope to see you in the next one. Peace.